to be my May favorites. I cannot believe May is over. My California trip is officially a week away. It's actually less than a week away. We leave Wednesday and today's Thursday, June 1st, and we leave on June 7th. So this weekend's my last weekend in NY. So I'm just super pumped. I cannot wait to go. So, but I wanted to get my favorites video in before I leave. So let's start out with primers. So the one primer I've just been obsessed with that I've been using a ton this past month is the Say um, Glowy Super Gel Star Glow Primer. I just love this so much. I think I have found my replacement for the Valentino primer that I love so much, that like highlighting, illuminating primer. I think I still have the sample of it. I don't know why I haven't gotten rid of it yet because it's pretty much donezo, but I love this primer, but it's like $60. So it's called the V Lighter Dual Use Liquid Light. This is so beautiful on the skin, but I didn't want to spend $60 on a primer. So this was like 15 bucks, and I think that this is probably the only primer that I'm going to bring with me to um, California because it's so small to travel with, and this will just be so easy to use that this is all I'm going to need. But I just love this because it's not like, it's not like one of those like metallic kind of primers it just gives you this like amazing hydrating glow to your skin and it just I can just put like the tiniest amount and you can see like the luminosity it gives my skin but it's not glittery or I would say it's shiny but not like glittery or metallic in any way it's just so hydrating but also gives my skin like such a gorgeous glow and I love wearing it almost under all of my foundations because it works with like every single foundation that I've used it with. I've used it with like regular foundations or I've used it with tinted moisturizers and I just love how it looks. So I absolutely love this product and if you haven't tried it yet and you have um, dry skin, that is a game changer. I love it so much. Okay, and then of course the foundation I want to mention. I wasn't really like head over heels for this foundation last month, but this foundation this past month, it has really been so beautiful on my skin, and that is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation in the shade 1C. I've used this at least once or twice a week this past month, so I've used it like probably like six or seven times since I've gotten it in the April VIB sale and I just love how it makes my skin look. It just makes it look glowy and beautiful and hydrating and it just has this beautiful finish on the skin and honestly this has been the foundation that I've been using when I work because it's so lightweight on the skin and it just looks I feel like this is such a perfect spring summer foundation for me. It's almost it, I'm, I put it on par with my Anastasia foundation because I love the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. This is the closest one that I've found that is almost the same kind of finish and formula. The Makeup by Mario is a little bit thicker, like in consistency, but not in a bad way because once it spreads out on your face, it's just so lightweight and it just makes your skin look so glowy and beautiful. Like, this does get glowy. So, for my oily girls out there, my oily girls and guys, if you have oily skin, this is probably not going to be for you. But, again, since I have dry skin, I'm going to recommend things that are for dry skin because that's my skin type. But if you have dry skin, run, don't walk to get this foundation. It is so beautiful on the skin. It Also, this and the House Labs foundation have been, like, my two favorites the past few months, they just have this beautiful lightweight finish to them that I just can't get enough of. So this is just gorgeous on the skin and I love it so much. So definitely had to mention that again. But like before when I was using this like last month, for some reason it was like emphasizing like my pores around like my nose area. But then when I've been using it this month, it hasn't been doing that anymore. I don't know. I guess like my skin just had to like warm up to it. Maybe like your skin sometimes just has to adjust to like new foundation products and you know how like your skin adjusts to new skin products. It's probably the same with foundation. 
maybe my skin likes this now because it looks absolutely stunning on my skin. So I love that. Okay, guys. So this is a big deal. This is a big deal. I've fallen in love with another concealer. And I don't say that too often, but I love this concealer so much. It's become one of my top favorite concealers. And that is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer in the shade LG3. This concealer is so freaking good, you guys. Like, I would recommend this for all skin types, for dry skin, for oily skin, for combination skin, anything, because it's so nice. It's like, I wouldn't say it's too creamy, but I would also say it's not fully matte. It's just so nice in consistency, and when I put it on my under eyes, it blends out so easily, and it really does not crease too much. The only reason why it's been creasing lately is because of the condition that my skin has been in lately, but I'm telling you guys, the first couple of times that I wore this concealer and my under eyes were not as dry as they are now because, again, my skin is, like, not living its best life right now, it is beautiful underneath the eyes. Again, it blends out so well, and then when I set it, it really does not crease too much at all. Like, I basically judge a concealer if it starts creases on, starts to crease on me, like, within, like, 10 minutes. This has increased for hours, and it just... I've worn this a ton this past month because anytime, like, I'm thinking about what concealer to use, like, this is probably the most similar consistency to the Tarte Hydroflex concealer that I've found. This is also the first product I've ever tried from LYS, and I've heard and seen so many of my favorite YouTubers, like Angelica Nyquist, Morgan Turner, they both absolutely raved about this concealer. I think Andrea Matigliano tried this too and loved it. And so did the Fancy Face, actually. The Fancy Face likes this one, too. I was like, okay, I need to try this. And since I told you guys last month that I was kind of iffy about the Valentino concealer, I exchanged that one for this one. I was trying with that concealer. I used it about, like, I think five times before I made up my mind that I did not like it. This is so worth it, you guys. And also, this one is, like, 18 or $19, so it's not too too expensive not like breaking the bank like the valentino one i just thought was not worth it for 35 dollars, and i don't love it then i don't need it but this is just so beautiful underneath the eyes i highly recommend this one i would also say this is probably good for almost all uh ages as well like i think that someone that's 60 or someone that's 30 or someone that's like 15 could wear this concealer and it's gonna look beautiful so i love this concealer i love it it's so good Okay, then moving on to powders. I only have one to talk about, which is the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. I've been wearing this a ton this past month. I think I like this powder more so than I did uh, before, like when I first had it. Because I think if I just put like a light layer of it underneath my eyes... It really just blurs the under eyes beautifully and then it's just such a beautifully lightweight powder and again this powder is so pretty for and so lightweight for drier skin types that I think that this is a great powder for anyone with dry skin to try. It has like such a beautiful blurring effect and again it just feels so lightweight underneath the eyes and on my t-zone because that's where I set with loose powder is here and here and it just blurs the pores so nicely so I really have been enjoying this too this month okay now let's jump into eyeshadow palettes I have a couple I mean I don't have too many I just have my two most recent ones that I got this past month. Okay, I have to talk about this one first because this one I am absolutely head over heels in love with. Um, I'm not going to be able to haul anything until like probably the end of June because I went on a no buy this month. I haven't bought makeup. I actually liked how my hair looked with it behind my ears. I think that looked better. Um, <laughs> adjusting my hair. Um, but I have recently went on a no buy for makeup. I just bought skincare like yesterday and I just did that exchange for the concealer like last week or like two weeks ago or something. 
And then I think I got one highlighter like a couple weeks back. But I haven't purchased any makeup in like two weeks. So I'm trying to be on a no buy until I get back from my vacation because I need money for my vacation. So, but I did buy, actually I bought this palette and I bought the next palette after I said I was going to be on my no buy after the Sephora sale. So, but this palette came out a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh my God, that's, that color story is so beautiful for summertime. So I had to get it and I'm talking about the Simply Posh Citrus Punch Palette. Oh my God, you guys, the formula of this brand is fan fantastic I love this and I also am obsessed with the packaging but look at this color story for spring and summer I don't know why my dog is barking right now she just barks at everything but look at this isn't this so freaking stunning you guys so we have one row of lighter pastel mattes then we have a beautiful row of duochrome shimmers and then we have the deeper darker mattes on the bottom Sorry, my mom's outside. That's why she's barking. So, just need some water. Okay, so back to the Simply Posh palette. Hopefully she won't start barking again, but I am absolutely in love with this formula. And I was debating on picking this up for like a couple of days, but the reason why I ended up biting the bullet to try this brand because... I literally have tried now, I think, I've tried four new brands this year. Glaminatrix, Cosmic Brushes, um, Ace Beauté's Reformulation, and Simply Posh. But Simply Posh and Cosmic Brushes were not on my list to try for the new brands that I wanted to try in 2023. But as soon as I saw this color story, I was like, that is just so stunning for spring and summer. I was like, I have to have it. And... Every single time I've used this palette, it has been such an such a breeze and so easy to work with. The mattes, I think I am more in love with the mattes in this palette than I am the shimmers. The shimmers are stunning, but the matte formula is just, I've never really worked with a matte formula that's like super soft and buildable like this is. Like, these are so beautifully buildable. Like that's I, how I would describe them. And they build up to be saturated, but not like insanely pigmented, but like just enough. And every time I wear this palette, I always get compliments on it. Like every time I've worn it to work, at least three or four customers have complimented me on my eyeshadow. And they're like, I love your eyeshadow so much. And I'm like, that's so sweet because it really does look so beautiful on the eyes. Like this palette and the Natasha Denona My Dream palette, I think I've gotten the most compliments when I wear both of those palettes to work. And it just makes me feel good sometimes because I'm like, wow, I actually did my makeup good. This, But this is just makes it so easy to do your eyeshadow. Like don't be intimidated by these colors because... They're so easy to work with. And the reason why I got turned on to this brand is because of Annette's Makeup Corner. Because she reviewed their palettes that came out back in, I believe, November or December. And she was raving about the formula probably just as much as she raves about Blend Bunny. Like, it became, like, one of her favorite formulas to use. Then I was like, hmm, I'm going to keep an eye out for this brand and see if they come out with something that I want. And then I was like, I need that color story. This is just so beautiful. I can't stop raving about it. Um, I've used all of the shimmers except for this green one. I think I'm going to use this on Sunday when I go out. Even though the green was the one I was the most excited to try because the shade is so stunning. It's like this green, pink, shifty, sparkly green. I absolutely love it. Look at that. It's so beautiful. See, this is what I'm talking about with like the duochrome. And then this one is tasty. They're just so glittery and sparkly, beautiful metallics. And then we'll swatch one more. We'll do tropical. Tropical is also gorgeous. It's like this pinky, orangey shade. Oh, they're so pretty. 
Um, but I think that it is correct that um, the shade Tangy is like the lemony shade that um, some creators have been saying that here are some of the mattes. Like, are you kidding me with that pigmentation? Like, they're so insanely smooth. Like, the swatches might not do them justice, but when you use them on the eyes, they are so easy to work with. So there is Lemon, Punch, and Lime. So there are some of the swatches for you guys. I'm just obsessed with this palette. I haven't worn it in a couple days. I just really want to wear it again. But I've been rotating some other palettes because last week, all I did was switch off between this palette and the other palette I'm about to talk about. Um, but it is true, I think, about um, the shade Tangy, which is this yellow shimmer, that it does get a little bit of hard pan after you use it and after you swatch it. So just be a little bit more careful with that shade. Once I put it on my lid, though, it was totally fine. Super saturated color still. It's just a little bit lighter than the other shimmers. But other than that, I absolutely love this palette. I only haven't used the, actually, this shade and this shade. I've used all the other shades. I've used this green on the lower lash line a couple of times, and it's such a beautiful green. So, yeah, I love this palette. I can't rave about this brand enough, and I just love the ease of use of their formula. It reminds me of the Cosmic Brushes formula, which is just so easy to use, too. And then the other palette, like I said, I did try the reformulation of Ace Beauté. So, this is the Ace Beauté Aura palette. Ace Beauté has been on my list to try to give a second chance to for quite a while. And the reason why I picked this palette up this time is because, well, one, I was eyeing this color story for a while when it came out. I think it's just such a beautiful palette. It has, like, these lavenders in here, these, like, mustardy brown tones, these reds. And then it, we have like this beautiful pink shimmer. It's just a really pretty and unique color story. I don't really have another color story like this in my collection. But I was always hesitant to retry them because when I tried them in the past, the only palette that I had tried from them was one of their Boxy Charm palettes, which is called the Scarlet Dusk palette. I did not like the formula of that. The mattes were just so dry and the shimmers were just so hard to pick up. These mattes are so easy to use, very smooth and blendable, and the shimmers are beautiful on the lids. My favorite shade in the palette is called Halo, and this one is such a stunning like lavender gold. I've been really into like those more shifty gold kind of shades lately, like the Alice in Wonderland palette. That's the shade Echo. Look at that. Isn't that so stunning? stunning um the Alice in Wonderland palette which I'm not going to mention today because I mentioned it in my last favorites and it's not my favorite palette but I have used it like once or twice this past month just to test out most of the shades so that's the gold shade but the Alice in Wonderland palette has like a like sky blue gold shifty metallic shadow in it that's like similar to like the shift of this one and I've just been loving those kind of shades and then I'll swatch one of the mattes. But I think that this palette's really, really nice. Um, I would highly recommend Ace Beauté. I know they're a very popular brand now, I feel like. But the mattes are very richly pigmented. So this one is Chi and this one is Wistful. So yeah, I really have been enjoying it. I've created a couple of looks with it. I've pretty much used all of the shades in here. Um, the only shade that I haven't used on the lid lid yet is moonlight but I'm going to use it tomorrow but I can say with both of these palettes even though I haven't used one of the shimmers that they're great palettes so I usually test out the palette fully before I mention it in a favorites video but I already know how I feel about these and they're really really nice so the reason why I decided to pick up Ace Beauté this time around is because they were having one day of free shipping because their shipping is usually like $8 and I was like, I might as well just pick it up when they have free shipping because even if you use like an affiliate code when they have their shipping, uh, when you have to pay for their shipping, it, it's not really worth it because you end up paying like the same price 
than you would um, just getting it without the free shipping. Like, because I would have just used like a discount code from like Anjushka or like Annette's Makeup Corner or Butte Bean or whatever, uh, or Batty Bean, I mean. But it only knocks off like 15% and then you basically pay that in the shipping. So like you're not really saving any money. You're saving like $2. So I was like, I might as well just pick it up when there's free shipping. So I felt like that was more worth it. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, but I thought that that was a better deal. Okay, so then the next palette, I have been able to wear this a couple of times this past month and I still love it. And I have to mention the Nomad Royal Europe palette again. I really want to pick up their newest release. If you guys saw, they did release a new palette a couple of days ago. And it's like a jungle-themed palette because it's an African-themed safari palette. And it looks so beautiful. But I love this palette still. I think that this has become my favorite Nomad palette that I own. The pigmentation of these mattes are frigging insanely beautiful. They last so, so long on the eyes, and these multi-chromes are absolutely stunning. I actually just wore this palette yesterday combined with the Hudson Valley palette from Nomad, and I love how the look turned out. If you guys want to see that on my Instagram, it's still on my stories. Um, but again, the pigmentation of these mattes are just so beautiful, and I just have nothing more to say about it because they are insanely amazing. But, like, you barely have to touch these. And the matte pigmentation is absolutely nuts. Like, just so, so good. So, I just wanted to show you guys. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, so opaque. Like, when I swatch these, they're more opaque than all the other mattes that I swatch. Not that I'm saying that those are bad matte formulas whatsoever. But the no matte is, like insanely pigmented but also like easy to work with too and that's really really hard to do with eyeshadow because sometimes like when you make something super pigmented you kind of sacrifice like the blendability I don't know how they made these still so blendable but so pigmented like they're just so gorgeous and a lot of people loved this palette and then with the new palette some people are saying that you're getting hard pan with some of the shimmers already but with these a lot of people loved these ones so because the multi-chromes in here are so ridiculously smooth this is still my favorite multi-chrome royal treasure i've worn these three shades again i haven't been able to dip into these two again but i'm fully intending to hopefully soon maybe when i get back from california but again they're just so gorgeous they're so smooth and beautiful so yeah, I love this palette and I just, I can't get enough of it. I have been trying to dip into Nomad a bit more this past month and also because since they're my most purchased brand now, besides Odin's Eye and um, ColourPop, I'm trying to use their palettes more because if I purchase them, I need to use them, right? So I can't use ColourPop every single day, even though I'm wearing a ColourPop palette today. So those are the multi-chromes. They're just, they're beautiful. Okay, and then the last palette I wanted to mention is, of course, the Cosmic Brushes Muse palette. I've still used this a couple of times this past month. I actually just used it, I believe, last week. I remember what I did. I think I went out to a barbecue with my best friend, Chris, um, and I wore this palette, and it just looks so beautiful because I've been wanting to do, like, an all-green look with it. But this palette is still gorgeous. I don't really have to go into it too much. If you haven't tried Cosmic Brushes uh, palettes yet, there's a reason why they sell out. The formula is absolutely fantastic and the price is insanely good that you can't really beat it with the quality that you get in here is like top notch quality. Like this is like luxury quality eyeshadows for $20. Like and the, the color story is absolutely stunning. Like if I was going to California in the spring, I would probably just bring this palette with me. I mean, technically, it's still going to be spring, but I really just wanted to wear, like, a bunch of warm tones when I go to California. I wasn't really vibing with this color story to bring with me, but wearing it here, I just cannot get enough of it. The shimmers are absolutely stunning, and the mattes are so easy to work with, so pigmented and wonderfully rich. 
and easy to build and blend and the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous like I just love them and they're they have like this wet metallicness to them that are just so stunning so this one is inspire this one is whisper and this one is amethyst and they're just all amazing so I'll just swatch some of them for you I've been trying to work through to use the shimmers again. I actually haven't used any of these again. I've used all of them once before. I've used, I think, like the bottom half of the palette more than once. But they're just so beautifully shiny and metallic. I've used um, this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade again. So literally, like these shades, I need to use these four shades again. So I've used half of the shimmers again more than once but I love this palette so much it's so gorgeous I'm not going to swatch the mattes for you well let's swatch two of them why not why not the only thing that I wish this palette had was a like a lavender tone of a matte or like a purpley matte that's the only thing I want in this palette like honestly I could have taken this minty color out of here because I don't really use it I finally used it last week when you see in my everyday makeup lookbook, I finally used it, but I don't find it really necessary for me. But other than that, I absolutely love this palette. Because, like, the purples, I'm not really going to pair with pinks and with greens. So I just thought it was a bit odd to put the purples in here. But maybe I'll end up doing that soon. But, like, the I've only ended up using those colors in, like, a palette bingo. Not a palette bingo. Like a like the live with Kat but yeah I love this so thank you so much to Kat again for gifting me this palette I absolutely love it I can't get enough of it it's beautiful and again if you haven't tried cosmic brushes yet they actually just teased another eyeshadow palette because they haven't come out with an eyeshadow palette since this one came out because they are a smaller indie brand but yeah I just cannot wait to see it so yeah, absolutely love that. So this is the mustard shade, and this one's Novu. I believe this one's called Admire. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It's the only mustard green in the palette. So mustard yellow, I mean, not mustard green. And I just forgot to mention this concealer really quick, but I did mention this in my last favorites video, but this one is so good. This one's the Urban Decay Naked Quickie Concealer. This one is probably the most full coverage concealer in my collection, but it makes my under eyes look so bright and beautiful and it blends out so easily. It doesn't make them look dry or anything. It's just such a great concealer, you guys, and people are raving about this one for a reason. Just Urban Decay knows how to do complexion products. They need to stick more to filling the holes in their line like blushes and highlighters rather than coming out with a million naked palettes all the time like because they do those products solid so it's like I don't know what they're doing that they keep on coming out with freaking naked palettes it's like enough already you know like it's like NARS and orgasm like can we like stop <laughs> but yeah this is beautiful and a lot of people are raving about this because it's freaking great and then I just wanted to mention the five liners from ColourPop that I really have been loving this month. So these are the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. These are probably the same ones that I mentioned last month, but I guess I'm talking about them again. Um, but I'm not like head over heels in love with the ColourPop Gel Liners like everybody else is, but I do like the shade selection they're just like the not they're not the most creamy easy to work with eyeliners that I've used but also like I've only tried like a few eye eyeliner formulas but I find like the color pop ones are just very harsh on my waterline I find that the LA girl ones or like the um Marc Jacobs ones or the makeup by Mario ones the makeup by Mario ones are my favorites of all time they're just so creamy and pigmented. These are good, but it's like basically what you pay for is what you get. It's like a $7 liner for, uh, quality. That's what I feel like with their liners as compared to like their other products in their line, I feel like are a lot more higher quality than their liners are. So of course the one that's been my favorite still is the shade Peach Fuzz. It's just a beautiful, like super easy peachy, everyday springy shade that I've been wearing like almost every single day it's so good 
Um, and I also really love Prance still. This is just such a pretty sky blue periwinkle color. I can see why this one was so popular. I'm so glad that I finally own it because it's stunning. I'm not going to swatch all of them. And then Outer Space is like this beautiful like navy blue. I just used that yesterday. It's really nice. Amethyst Hour I've used quite a bit. It's like a pinky purple. I'll just swatch this one because I really like this one and I use this a lot with my pink tone looks or my lavender tone looks for spring. So this one and Peach Fuzz have been like my two go-to favorites for spring. And then the shade Aglow I've been using quite a bit too because it's a really pretty like metallic green and I use that whenever I do like a green look or whenever I want to add like a pop of color. And then this mascara... So this mascara has been getting so much hate online. Like a lot of YouTubers have not been liking this mascara. They're like, I tried it at the VIB sale and I don't like it. I really like this mascara. I've been reaching for it constantly again this past month. I used it a ton um, during the month of April. So this is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. I really like it. I think it makes my lashes look nice and curled. It's a really easy formula to work with because it's a little bit drier. It's not like too dry where it's like unworkable. It's like a dry wet hybrid and I really like it. The only thing is that the last time I wore it to work like a couple of days ago for some reason it flaked on me like to my crease area but I don't know that might just be like because of the condition that my skin is in right now because my eyes are like hella dry. But for some reason, it was transferring here, and it transferred a little bit on the bottom as well. So I'll keep you guys updated for when I wear this again, but I haven't worn it in like a couple of days because I was like hesitant to wear it yesterday because I wasn't sure if it was going to flake. But I'll let you guys know, but I really like it. I didn't have that problem every other time I wore it, and it wasn't even that, it wasn't like that warm yesterday either, so it's not like I was really sweating, so I, I wasn't really sure what was going on, but... I just wonder why it was uh, transferring like that. Okay, let's move on to blushes. We're just going to talk about one bronzer first. And the only bronzer I'm going to talk about is the Pat McGrath Labs bronzer in the shade Naked Desire. I've been reaching for this a ton this past month. I don't know what it is about this bronzer that I keep on reaching for it. It's just such an easy bronzer to work with. Like it's not even that pigmented. But it's such a smooth and easy formula to work with and it's just, it's Pat McGrath and it's just super buttery smooth. I'm really glad that I picked this one up because I use it so much. Um, again, it's like super duper light but I kind of like it because it's just like such an easy super light bronze for my fair skin and that's why I like it. So... I've been using it a ton again this past month, so I just wanted to mention that. And let's move on to blush now. I only have a couple to talk about. Because um, I already feel like we've been here for 10 million years. Where's the other lippy that I was going to talk about? Oh, it's over there. What? Okay, so for blushes. So remember like how long I waited for the rest of my Sephora orders to come so I finally got this blush like I think the beginning of May because that's how long it took to get to me I think it was like May 5th or 6th so this is the Giorgio Armani blush this is the luminous silk glow blush in the shade 30 and I actually really do like the formula of this blush it is really really nice but it is very very overpriced for how much product you're getting. You're not really getting that much product, but it's a su super soft and beautiful blush on the cheeks. I wasn't sure how I felt about it when I first tried it, but I'm glad that I picked it up because it is very, very nice. But I just don't know why it's right here. It's a really nice, just peachy apricot shade. So I do really like it. I just don't know why these super high-end brands are charging so much for blushes that are this tiny like the same thing with gucci like i like the gucci blush so much but the fact that it's like this small and it's like 50 dollars, it's like compared to the house labs compact that this is the same price as this so house labs has like luxury prices too and you're getting like 
double the product in this, why are you getting like this small of a blush? So I understand it's a luxury brand, but it's like a little bit of a rip off, but I still really like it. But that's why I only got one shade. I'm like, I'm not made of money, <laughs> but it is really, really nice. And I keep it next to me because I like to use it when I can. I've used it a couple of times. And then I just wanted to mention one color pop blush. So this is the Alice in Wonderland blush in the shade Oh Dear. I finally did try the red one as well, but I only used this one. So I'm not really going to count it as a favorite, but it looked so cute on the skin. And I really, really liked it. But again, I've only had like one chance to wear it because how often am I going to wear red blush? I don't know if I'm really going to wear that that often. I just need to rehydrate my skin because my skin is like super dry right now. Um, so this is the shade Oh Dear and I have worn this a couple of times this past month. It's just a really pretty like super soft pink but I like that it's not really a cool toned icy pink. Usually like when ColourPop does these kind of shades it leans way more cool tone. I like that it's more of like a warmer spring toned kind of pink shade. It's just really really pretty. So the blushes were definitely my favorite thing in the collection over the palette. So that's the blush. You're not really going to see it that well. But it's just a really super smooth formula. So I really, really like this blush as well. So that one I just wanted to talk about. And then the last blushes I just wanted to mention because I already talked about these a couple of times but I really have just been using these still quite a bit I really like using these when I can so these are the house labs blushes this one is um pomelo peach this is just the most absolutely perfect peach blush I might bring this with me to California I was just going to bring a blush palette and then I might just bring one or two individual blushes I think that'll be fine because the blush palette I'm bringing has six blushes in it and I originally was just going to bring that, but I might bring this one with me too. And then I just might bring like NARS is Madly with me just to have like a nude option. But this peach shade is just like the most perfect, perfect peach shade. I love it so much. It has just such a beautifully smooth formula. And some of her shades are actually selling out. I believe this one might be sold out. Correct me if I'm wrong though. But I know that this one's been sold out for a little while. And this one is the shade Hibiscus Haze. I love this one too. I'm so glad I snagged this one when I could. So I picked these up when they first launched. Um, and also, I think that this one's sold out a couple of times. But this one is also like a more like warmer tone kind of mauve color. It's not like too cool tone I think that's why it's so popular because it's not as cool tone as you think it would be because again most pinky mauve shades lean more cool tone but this one is such a pretty color so I've reworn these I think at least once this past month but I think I've worn them maybe more than once and I just really love them I really love reaching for these when I can okay and then just two highlighters the first one is the Cali Ray Highlight Beach Gleamy Hybrid Feels Highlighter. I'm not wearing any of these products today except for the lip pro one of the lip products I'm going to talk about. And of course, I'm wearing the Say Primer. But I'm wearing like some older products today because I wanted to just give them some love. But I wore this um, a couple of times this past month. And this is such a nice formula, you guys. This one really reminds me of kind of like the Super Shock formula from... ColourPop. It just has this really nice wet looking formula to it. I might bring this highlighter to um to California with me because I think this will be just such a pretty highlighter to bring. But it looks very warm on my hand, but when I put it on my face and I use like a light hand, if I just use my fingers, it's just l like dark enough for me to get away with because if I put too much on it might be a little dark for me but if I just like use um like my fingers it's usually like just light enough for me so yeah I really really love this highlighter and this was 
the last highlighter I purchased before I went on my no buy besides the other one I'm going to talk about I forgot I got that one like a couple days later but this is just a really nice formula so I really like this one I still am really tempted to get the tinted moisturizer so I might get that this summer there are a couple things on my wish list for Sephora this summer because there's some good launches coming out this these past couple of weeks and then the last highlighter I wanted to talk about is the Rare Beauty what is this called again my neck is starting to hurt all we have is lip products to talk about Caitlin you can do it why do I feel like I have more than one gloss to talk about though I mean I have been wearing a couple more glosses this past month but I think I'm only going to talk about the one I was going to mention but I, I feel like I have more than one to talk about whatever so I'm just going to talk about the shade Me Mesmerize from Rare Beauty this one is pretty but again I have to be kind of lighter handed with this because it can get a little bit dark on my skin but also it can get a little bit I don't know it's like a bit underwhelming on the skin sometimes so like if I go in with my finger with this one I think it it looks a little bit more intense and shinier that way but I'm actually wearing the shade Enlighten today which is my favorite one out of the three and this one is just so intense and beautiful and I thought that that was going to be the same case with this shade but I feel like with this one, it's like that same issue that I have with like rose gold highlighters where like they're not really that rose gold. They're more so like kind of like a, I don't know, just like it's, I feel like this should have been a little bit more lighter toned, but I understand this is probably more suited for like medium to darker skin tones. And it still looks pretty on my face, but I'm not saying like necessarily it's like too dark for me to wear. I'm saying like this one is not as intense as the other two that I own and why I fell in love with the formula in the first place. Like the shade Enlighten and the shade Exhilarate are so bam wow highlighter. When you first put them on, you like barely need any. With this one, I have to layer more. But it's still pretty, like, I, I'm still going to keep it and use it. So this was still the last highlighter that I ended up getting before my no-buy. Okay, so just some lip products. I have to mention these first. I have been wearing these so much this past month. I just can't get enough of these. These are just the absolute easiest lip products to wear. I'm definitely bringing these lip products to, with me to California. They're just so easy to wear. They're so easy to throw on. So these are the Tower 28 juice balm tinted lip balms if you guys are looking for tinted lip balms and you're into like those super lightweight kind of lip balms for summer these are absolutely perfect I don't know how the heck I damaged the cap of this one but that's okay we're just gonna wipe it off but this is the shade mix and this one I've been wearing a ton because it's just an easy go-to everyday lippy for me and then the other one is called shake which is a really light pink and this one is more sheer than the um, mixed shade but when you build it up on the lips it's just a really pretty soft pink so I really have been enjoying these so much these just live next to me in my everyday makeup drawer and I reach for them constantly because they're just so easy to use and when I don't know what lippy to wear I just throw one of those on and it's just I'm out the door and then the next one is actually the one I'm wearing today and I think I like this product more now than I did when I first had it because I feel like I kind of understand it better like sometimes you need to like understand like how a product functions before you're like okay I like this because again I kind of agree with people that it kind of feels like an oily kind of consistency when you wear it but also like it's been maintaining this sh the shininess this whole time so this is the rare beauty tinted lip oil in the shade joy and like I said this is what I have on my lips today and I really have been enjoying it it's like just enough of a poppy color and it like really picks up the shades in my crease today because I'm wearing the ColourPop Snow White palette today and I feel like it kind of 
matches that so well so I and I also just wanted to wear this again and I thought it would be perfect with this but I kind of get how it works now it doesn't really give me that cooling tingling sensation anymore which I'm not like in love with with products like with lip products I'm not into like the lip plumpers or anything like that I hate those kind of products I don't really need lip plumpers too because I actually do like my lips like I don't need them to be fuller than they are the things that I like about my body are my lips and my boobs. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, just telling you guys, like, we can embrace what we like about ourselves, right? Um, but with this, um, I kind of get how it works now where, like, I really like how it feels on the lips. And I think it has a nice pigmentation to it, but it's not a lip oil. I feel like the glossiness of it has an oily consistency but it's not necessarily a lip oil but it has like the nourishing of a lip oil you know what i mean so i also keep this next to me too because i like reaching for that quite a bit too and then the last products i wanted to talk why am i holding it like that why is this sticky too oh my god i need to end this video oh wait hold on i have one more lipstick the makeup by mario ultra lip suede <coughs> And this one is in the shade Sierra. I've been wearing this a couple of times too. I actually just wore this yesterday. And I love this lippy. It's such an easy nude to wear. And I always know it's going to look so pretty. So I absolutely love it. It's not too drying for me at all. I can't believe how hesitant I was to get this. Because Morgan Turner said that they were really drying on her lips. But I don't find that to be a case, the case at all. I really love them. Still love you, Morgan. I just, I'm glad I took the dive to try them because I actually really like them. And then the last two lip products I wanted to talk about was the Alice in Wonderland ColourPop um, lip set lippies, right? <laughs> so this one is the Most Curious Lux Blur Luxe Lipstick. I actually really, really like this lipstick. I finally got to wear this to work um, like last week. And it's just such a beautifully vibrant pink. And I also really like that it's in the lip blur formula because I absolutely love the velvet blur formula from ColourPop. They're just so lightweight and pigmented and beautiful and blurring on the lips. So I really, really like this color. And I think that this is going to be a good spring pink for me. But I'm glad that I finally got to wear it again and actually wear it rather than like blurring it out. And then the Lux Gloss in the shade Tonal Nonsense. I like it, but I'm not absolutely in love with this. I'm not absolutely in love with the Lux Gloss formula. I prefer the So Glassy formula, but this has still been nice to top off that lip gloss, that lipstick with, and I've also been using it to top off other lipsticks. So yeah, that's it, you guys. I need to go. I'm so tired. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at CBW819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. <sighs> Let me know what you guys have been loving in the month of May. Have you tried any of these products? Let me know. And I hope y'all have a great day, a great week, a great month. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.